Whoa. Ooh. Hey guys, Moose here, and uh, sorry about that. I just tripped over all these shirts I stacked up, and uh, just been working on uh, sewing and making all these fine shirts for the people in my my brand. And uh, I was, which is why I kind of haven't been posting so much. So sorry about that, guys. People who want to see content. But this week, uh, as you can notice, my mask looks a little off, so I decided maybe, you know, we should uh, learn how to fix that or make a new one. And uh, with that, let's get right into the right into the sewing. But I uh, kind of want to get rid of this thing, kind of off, kind of feels awkward, kind of looks off. But we're making a new one, so it's all fine with that. So let's go, guys. Let's learn how to sew, I guess. So I'm sitting here at the sewing station and you're wondering, Moose, Moose, what am I ever going to do with a sewing machine other than, you know, sew a, sew a ski mask? Well, um, there's a lot of different projects, like for instance, all, all my new shirts come with a nice little pocket. And I sewed all these on the, I sewed all these myself, I cut them, I made them, and I put them on the shirt pockets. And, or you could do something a little more grandiose, and you can make a custom, you know, chest rig, or something that you can uh, put your little uh, magazines in. So, which I'll demo later just to show you what it is. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of things you can do with sewing, and I wish I learned this skill a little earlier, and I wish I knew some of the tricks I'm gonna tell you now which is basically how to set it up properly so you can, you know, get sewing. So I'm doing all this handheld. We'll get to a st more stable position uh, after I, you know, uh, kind of teach you how to thread this. For f so first, we're going to put the top thread in. You see it going right there. We're going to bring it over to that little thing. I'm going to go down, kind of go in the back, down through there and it's hooking into these little like snaps there. I was waiting for the camera to focus. And it's gonna go down this pathway, down around here, up to this little loop thing, down. Which if it's in the down position, there's a little knob over here. See this? And you can turn it left and right, which in turn moves the needle up and down which moves that little hook up and down. And then the last thing you do is you just gotta put, there's sometimes like a little thread guy, uh, like a thread, you know, holder, put it in there. You don't have to do that. Uh, people recommend it just cause it guys thread a little bitter. I just snipped the thread. And then if I can't do this, I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna look like thread the, uh, the lower one cause I need two hands to put this thread through the needle hole. But basically all you gotta do is put your thread through the needle after that. So I'm gonna cut it. We're gonna go to threading the bottom one because there's two types of threads. There's an upper and then down here, there's a lower, which I gotta do. So we're gonna cut it and go to that. So now we're at our uh, low, lower thread after we did our top thread. And you can choose whatever color you want. I chose this color right here. And we're gonna take the thread from there and put it onto the bobbin, which is this little device, which I already did to speed up time. And we're gonna put it in this little thing, because it just slides right in there. And we take the thread. And it goes up and around the corners. So basically that's done. Sometimes you can trim the thread off. And this device, there's a little little knob or whatever here. It just goes up, clicks into place, and it can it comes out too, just with like there's like a little lever here. I don't know if you can see it from that far. But pull it in, pull it out. Bam. And then that knob I showed you earlier, you just turn it so the needle goes down. You can see it going down. The needle goes up. And we pull this thread a little bit and it pulls the lower thread up through that hole. And we're finished. And bam, we're ready to sew. And I, you could put your, your little table extension back on, you're fine now, but. 
<coughs> I prefer not to, sorry. That was not a Kufid cough, that was simply a uh, swallowed some spit wrong. And now we're gonna put our mask on. And I'm pushing this through. The, thread, the upper thread's there. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of thread. Guys, I'm gonna have to be right back. <laughs> I ran out of upper thread already. So I put my top thread in. It's, the, it's gonna be the same color as the lower. Um, and I kind of angled the ski mask so the whole thing is around, you know, the whole little table end. And basically now it's turning it on, bam. And pushing this little lever down so it holds it in place. There's a little lever back here. It goes up and down. And there's a little foot pedal. It's gonna be on the ground. Bring it in the frame. Looks like that. And you kind of just guide it through. And you're thinking, uh-oh, I'm getting to an angle. Well, you just push your needle through manually. You can do it all manually with your hand on this little, like, dial knob I showed you earlier. Bam. Needles down. You lift your table up, and you rotate your, uh, your cloth. Bam. And you're gonna have some end threads, always whatever uh, I'm just gonna keep going around this outline and mind you when I first did the ski mask I did like 70 maybe 60 or 70 of these this way it can be time consuming and it took a couple of seconds to figure out how a buddy's mom showed me actually how to sew and I'm so glad I kind of learned how to do it because it's been one of the most fun things I've ever really le like learned how to do and uh, it's been one of the most profitable things I've ever learned how to do it's, I mean it's just it's just so fun I don't know I guess money comes when you really enjoy doing what you do right so I'm just kind of going around the edge tracing it we're getting kind of towards the end now, which I'll show you how to lock off thread, which is very important if you want your threads to stay in place. Got to another edge, put it down, lift the table, move it around, and it's just about moving your object around and making sure the bottom doesn't connect with the top, so you're not like sewing two pieces of fabric together. Ma the ma think of the mask as like a tube. So you basically don't want to sew one side of the tube to the other side of the tube. Getting there guys, we're getting there. And, and feel free, oh, I just got some fabric caught, which happens. So you have a nice pair of scissors, so you can just trim fabric away if need be. Go down. And bam, we did the whole circle. So we're gonna, there's a little reverse button and that backs your thread up. So you start th threading in reverse. So you just lock it, go back a few, go forward a few, bam, you're locked. And then now it's just pulling your product off of the uh, your little hook. You're gonna take your scissors, trim these two threads here because they're connected. And bam, we got a mask. Normally you should pin it to make it always even, but I've been doing this long enough that I don't really do that. I mean, I don't care about the mask being too, you know, perfect or whatever. Trim some threads. There's also gonna be some threads on the inside of whatever you do. 
just because it's doing you're doing two threads top and bottom as you can see bam and what's a mask without a bottom tag and you know my signature double-sided reversible tag so your beanie can fold in and out and same concept we're gonna <laughs> I keep getting messages all the time actually I recorded this clip before and I stopped it because I got a message but I'm not gonna stop it this time but that was because I was just getting it back to back to back. It's kind of annoying. I don't even know who it was. I didn't even check. So I'm going to line it up where I think it's good with the neck. Oh, right there is good. Lock my thread. Sometimes you gotta lift your needle a little more up. Cut your excess. Bam, bam. 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 And we are done. So that we're gonna go do a test run with the mask, and I'll show you uh, show off the AK rig and at least get one gun video or gun section in this, because I know somebody's gonna complain in the comments. So with that, let's get right to that. Wow. Sweet, it focused. But now you can see the mask is looking nice, crispy, and that's what you can do with sewing. And you can do this as well. Look at this chest ring. Three mags. It has a little tourniquet holder. I normally have a tourniquet in there. But uh, I'll give you a little demo of how good it works. Bam, snap, reload. Bam. And I'll do it one more time. Bam. Like, this thing is great. Mags fit snugly. And then you're good to go, you know? So that guys you have a great day go uh teach implement some of the things i've teach you whether it be the skateboarding the making t-shirts uh what else did we do i don't even remember this is episode five guys so thank you for sticking around this long stick around for more skits uh check out the balaclava boys store for these sweet t-shirts they come with a pocket i sewed myself a really cool back design um, grandma holding, you know, babushka holding a rocket launcher and a PKM machine gun. So, guys, thanks for everything. Thank you for the support. Thank you for anything. And, and if you want, I have a P.O. box open. So feel free to send a letter, send a package, whatever. I don't mind. Uh, just I just appreciate everything. And uh, keep being you guys. Peace.